If you're curious what really, really good dog training looks like, well, it's really boring. This is Link, my great Pyrenees mix, and today we are out here practicing looking at things. Yep, you heard it. The dog training today is looking at things. We're looking at dogs that could be possibly walking down the street. We are looking at squirrels and cats that run across the yard. And we are learning the appropriate ways to respond to those things. And in order to do that, that means that we're going to stay out here and do a lot of cooking. And we did a lot of training up to this point where I artificially added distractions into the environment. So maybe I would take Stark, my German Shepherd, out into the street and we would play fetch and Link would have to stay in the yard and just look. I have taken him to areas where the squirrel population is very large, but today I had some extra time to kill, so what we're doing today is just working in a natural environment where things are naturally occurring. But the important part of this training isn't what's happening now, it's everything that's happened before. And I think that's what a lot of people miss with their dog training. Everybody's trying to fix something in moments like these where Link is here and he's looking at a car, and if he had a reaction to the car, well, I might try to grab his leash and tell him, no, 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 don't bark, and that is a terrible time to try to do training. The best training takes place when you have a lot of control over the environmental factor. When we're training something new, I like to use something called a training scenario, where I have control over as many of the environmental factors as possible until we reach this point, and it's at this point where I'm putting him in a natural, real-life environment and seeing how he responds and if that training is working. If you have a dog who is struggling to do things outside, maybe they're not responding really well, probably means that you need to set up a couple more training scenarios before you put them in a real life scenario. 